Marker Colbert Speed Recovery Finish Network. Right, so we got another Honda out of the Boneyard. This one's pretty rough. I'm just going to be honest. It's got rust. It's got dents. This thing is pretty messed up. It probably has, I'd like to say, over 20 to 30 dents in it. It's probably not going to be perfect once I get all the bodywork done. I'm probably going to go with a more neutral color. Something that kind of hides the bodywork. It's not that I couldn't get the car perfect. It's that, guys, you got to be realistic when it comes to these old beat-up cars that are only worth a couple thousand dollars. You know, just get them as good as you can. It's not worth putting two, three, four weeks into restoring a $3,000 car. It makes zero sense. All that being said, let's get a mask on. Let's get started on the bodywork. and I have all been waiting for it is paint day I'm excited prep came out okay guys like I said this is really just a bang up job for me quite frankly this car was honestly better off for parts but I wanted to go ahead and challenge myself and just see if I could bring some light back into this car you guys know since the very beginning of my YouTube page I have loved taking the crappiest cars that pretty much should be used for parts and bringing them back to life getting them on the road cleaning them up and it's just what I love to do let's suit up let's put some sealer on the gun let's get the paint you guys pay attention to something one thing every professional painter will tell you is a paint job is never made in one coat it's never made in the first pass so your first coat of base just don't go crazy keep it light do a nice you know kind of mist coat slash semi full coverage coat don't go super heavy lay your foundation and then go from there this will simply prevent a lot of um, solvent-related issues like crow's feet where your, the solvent in the base coat literally eats through your primer sealer and lifts. So this will prevent a lot of those issues. And then you're going to notice, you know, this is the second coat. We're going a little bit wetter. We got our foundation laid. Now we're going to go a little bit wetter and go after coverage. And then, of course, our third coat, which I didn't film, um, that is our drop coat. Get those metallics looking all even and smooth and nice looking. And then we move on to clear. my biggest secrets with the SMR42 is how I mix it. So I like to mix it up, let it sit on the paint bench for 10 to 15 minutes. Let that catalyst really get into that material. One of my favorite sayings is this, if paint is not drying, it's running. Um, if your catalyst is not there, it's not the right weather. Um, if your catalyst isn't fully mixed into the clear coat well, it's going to run. As far as application goes, uh, you want to do a full sealing coat on your first coat. Um, go medium wet. Do not go too heavy. Your second coat goes slightly wetter than the first coat and you will get perfect glass finishes every time. <laughs>
wraps up for now for the Honda Civic. Quick bang up job. I'm very happy with the results for what I put into it. Really difference maker with these cheaper jobs is using a good sealer. Um, going over that whole entire car with sealer will fill in a lot of little tiny imperfections that you would see in your base and clear. Also using a super high solids clear coat, once again, that also fills in a lot of imperfections as well, little tiny stuff, and really can float out to a nice, smooth, flat finish for you. I'll have a part two coming where we get the car put back together, um, finish getting the wheels painted, rear bumper back on, taillights in. We also got a front lip, so stay tuned for that. So if you guys are looking for the best, most affordable auto body products in the world, head on over to www.speedocoat.com. They have everything you need to get your projects done. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.